Alright, welcome back to Active Duty Outdoors on the Freedom Farm. This morning, the horses are getting their uh, teeth floated. Never seen it done before. I don't know how they do it. I guess they use some electronics. So, Angie Arvent is on her way out, and we are going to check this out. And it's, we got a north wind coming out of Georgia today. It is flipping cold out here. Yesterday it was hot. I was in shorts and t shirt. Today I'm in a flipping sweater and a jacket. What the crap is going on? All right. Anyways, that just pulled up. You guys check it out and uh, see you in a minute. Good girl. Any problems with her? No, other than being stubborn and hard to catch sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that one time she colicked a little bit, but. Yeah. Come here, just hold her right there, girl. I just want to see what your mouth looks like. You get that <laughs> Alright, we'll just sedate you, but <laughs> hang on. <clears throat> do y'all both like to ride? Um, I do every once in a while. Sarah hasn't got on her yet. She's a little nervous. I'm pretty nervous. I need to bring you Sven then. I've got an old gelding that I mean he's he's a walker, so he's not like a calm super calm quarter horse, but anybody in the world can ride him. Especially as long as you just let him follow my little mare. Yeah. It's like I've got a rope attached to that horse, and you're not going anywhere that I go. Oh. But that's not always a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is our Eastern Western Tetna West Nile combo, and I'm gonna give her a rabies. Some people do rabies, some people don't. I, I like to do it because you and the best way for you to hold her float is just to kind of stand like this. Yeah. If you have to, you can put her head on your okay. shoulder. We'll take that off in a minute and just tie it around her neck. And just keep her head kind of pointed in my direction. Feels pretty smooth. And then we'll come on this side. Oh, and I'm gonna you can stay there. Oh, okay. Take some of the weight off of it. Do you have any bidding problems with her? No. According to Sarah, supposedly this mare's been ridden a good bit, right? Yeah, that's uh. I don't know if you would bring the thing at the top. She's um, she's not bad under her bit or her saddle. She's These a little soft are in the mouth. They're a lot but... worse on the ground than they are in the saddle. Yeah. They don't have the best ground matters, and once you get on them, then they know their job and do it. That's kind of where she is. She's antsy until you get on her, and she'll be a little stubborn for the first five minutes, but then she... And then she knows her job, right? Yeah. <laughs> open. Okay, so I'm going to... We're going to do something she's not wanting to open for me. Okay. So I'm going to have you pull this when I tell you. Okay. And I'm going to do something from this other side, okay? Just get ready. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, cool. Okay, More? you get a click? I got, I got a click, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, let's start with that. Okay. Her chin rests right here. She's gonna pick her head up. You're sleepy, girl. Get straight, sweetie. Okay, and then like I say, you can kind of stabilize that right there. Oh, yeah, we gotta get her a little straighter. Girl. Uh-uh. Yeah. Good. Good lady. if you want see the, where the inside lowers are sharp and the outside uppers are sharp oh yeah wow okay just be careful in case this scares her oh 
How long will the anesthesia last? About 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. I wish we had a barn. <laughs> yeah. Are you about to freeze? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I should be used to it. I'm from Montana. That's right. Okay, let me take this out of your hand so you don't have to hold it. Got it? Thank you. Don't you. take that. Yeah, you can just throw it on the back of the truck for right now. All week. right. If you'll hold it, upper lip back. Just grab the front of it and hold it back. Let's turn the knee just a little. You're telling you in the way, girl. Over here, she's close to 20, and over here, she's about 17. So, <laughs> take it to it. We'll take the 17. <laughs> Turn that bottom lip back. Just grab the front of it and pull back. And I'll try not to grind your fingers down. <laughs> I'm just joking. Sort of. You got a canine teeth, girl. That's unusual for a man. That is not hurting you. That is not hurting you. <laughs> Little turd. He does not like water. <laughs> Renegade! You little sucker. That's a bad Yay. Woohoo. Yay. Yeah. That's the difference in these horses. If you stick them one time and they freak out and you can't ever get it in, you're done. Really?
Ah, sorry, buddy. Ouchie! Got it. <laughs> Got it. Okay, let's swap sides. You doing okay? Yep. Up to your horse. Mm. This is the only time that Aaron let me kiss his butt. All right, so uh, that was the horses getting their teeth bloated. As you can see, the lady's starting to wake back up. She's done. Renegade's done. Renegade had to get his little wolf teeth pulled out. Uh, sucks to sucks to be him today. But uh, anyways, uh, big thanks to Dr. Angie for driving out here and these horses' teeth out. And. Uh, Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys on the next one.